Assalamu alaikum. This is my last lecture of neuroanatomy, and uh, this is the continuation of the cranial nerves. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to know about the nucleus, cores, branches, and lesions of the hypoglossal nerve. Uh, this hypoglossal nerve has got only one nucleus uh, that is present in the medulla and it's uh, this nerve supply all the muscles of the tongue except palatoglossus. Here you can see the this nerve <coughs> leaves, uh, leaves the medulla between the pyramid and, uh, and the olive and enters the hypoglossal canal and passes in the carotid sheath medial to the uh, cranial nerves 9th, 10th and 11th and pass between the internal carotid artery and internal jugular vein as well. Then it passes laterally to internal carotid artery and uh, it enters the digastric triangle deep to the posterior belly of digastric. It also carries with it the fibers of the uh, cervical spinal uh, cervical spinal nerve, first spi cervical spinal nerve, and postganglionic sympathetic fibers plus parasympathetic fibers from the superior vagal ganglia. Here you can see. The hypoglossal nerve, it merges on the anterior surface of the medulla oblongata between the pyramid and the olive. It crosses the posterior cranial fossa and leaves the skull through a hypoglossal canal. The nerve uh, then passes downwards and forward in the neck between the internal carotid artery and internal jugular vein until it reaches the lower border of the posterior belly of digastric. It then runs forward and crosses the internal and external carotid arteries and the loop of the lingual artery. This loop is very important um, in case of spotting uh, or surgeries of the that are performed on the lower surface of the tongue or floor of the mouth. Then it passes deep to the posterior margin of the myeloid muscle lying on the lateral surface of the hyoglossus muscle. The nerve then sends branches to the muscles of the tongue. In the upper part of its course, the hypoglossal nerve is joined by fibers of C1 from the cervical plexus. The hypoglossal nerve thus controls the movement of movement as well as shape of the tongue. Here you can see how these fibers of C1 they travel with this nerve, hypoglossal nerve, and this nerve passes over the myelohyoid and it supplies all the muscles, intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of the tongue except palatoglossus. This is the total course of the tongue. How this is passes from the internal and internal and external carotid arteries and also between the internal jugular vein travel over the hyoglossus and myelohyoid and it passes between the loop of the lingual artery. Here you can see this is the loop of the lingual artery from which it passes another view of the hypoglossal nerve then we come to the lesions of the hypoglossal nerve paralysis of this nerve make its own half of the tongue immobile and if of long standing the tongue will be wasted on that side 
test by asking the patient to put out the tongue it will deviate towards the affected side due to the unopposed action of the normal half like this this is deviation towards the affected side here another figure you can see the deviation and muscle wasting on the left side of the patient by this we come to the end of the hypoglossal nerve as well as uh, we come to the end of the all the cranial nerves thank you for your attention allah hafiz